One question that keeps being put to me is, is Pepe done? Are we going to see a price rally? Now, I've seen a couple of YouTubers talking about how Pepe is finished. We haven't even really got started in this bull market. So in this video, I'm going to try and break down my view on where I think Pepe is going to go. And more importantly, should you buy or should you sell? Let's get into it. So what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for all of the latest and greatest in cryptocurrency. And in today's video, like I said, I want to talk about Pepe. Now, I've been kind of talking about Pepe for the last 12 months throughout the entire bear market, and my view has always stayed the same. If Pepe made it to a bull market, expect some pretty big things. Now, we saw that massive rally across the entire meme coin space where we got things like Dog With Hat, came out of nowhere, Book of Memes, Bonk went parabolic, and Pepe continued to move with the times and continues to be one of the top five meme coins out there. Current meme coin market cap, FYI, $60 billion, up about 4.47. Trading volume is a little bit down through the weekend as the wider cryptocurrency market is. You can see there, 61 billion is our total trading volume for the day. But Pepe currently trading about 3.69% up on the last 24 hours, about $265 million worth of volume. Now, there is a couple of interesting things I want to show you, and I guess just give you a sentiment of why I still think Pepe has got a significant move to come. We're still only at a $2.56 trillion market cap. Lots of people predict seven and a half, 10 trillion. Well, if you think Pepe is going to stay the same as with some of the other meme coins, as the market cap and the overall global market cap moves, then you've definitely not been in cryptocurrency long enough. However, when you start talking about Pepe specifically, it's interesting to see we are very close to breaking a monumental milestone, which would be 200,000 holders of Pepe coin. Now, you might think that's not that significant, but actually just the amount of holders does naturally bring people into the project. People want to get into projects and people ultimately believe we could see the next Shiba Inu of this bull run. The other thing I wanted to showcase to you is we are seeing exchanges continuing to buy and they're continuing to buy some good volume. You can see that OKX transferring out, likewise transferring in. Look at this, 70 million Pepe being bought there on the exchange. So we are definitely seeing exchanges continue. We're seeing volume continue to run through exchanges. You can see all of the top holders here are exchanges. Why is this important? You might be asking. Well, when retail finally comes into the market, when the person down the road decides they're going to get into cryptocurrency, everybody bought Shiba Inu last time. Everyone in the 2020 bull market, it was all about Shiba Inu. Is this one about Pepe? Is this going to be the time everybody wants to buy? Ultimately, we have 18 indicators currently signaling a bullish prediction from Pepe. The experts predicting we could be in for a significant move. Likewise, the overall market being at neutral on the fear and greed is a positive thing. It allows accumulation to go ahead. You can see there, 67% of the indicators favoring a positive prediction. This results in an overall neutral sentiment for Pepe coin. That's definitely not a bad place to be. And again, the question and what I see a lot of is, is Pepe finished? Are we going to see this push down? Is Pepe coin really worth buying right now? Well, ultimately, the sentiment certainly is one of positivity. The market finally looks like we've got a little bit of a positive uptrend. Now, don't forget, the Bitcoin halving is coming very soon. If you haven't checked out some of my short videos just explaining what they are, definitely go and have a look at those. But ultimately, that's coming soon. We then expect to unleash the floodgates, see some significant inflows, and more importantly, we'll continue to see those ETFs stack in the bag. So Pepe could absolutely move with the market. And I do think a break of 200,000 holders is going to be good news. Once again, though, it's always worthwhile in some cases, if you're not sure of exactly where we sit, is looking at a macro position. What do I mean by that? Here is the weekly chart for Pepe here on Binance. And what we can see is this significant rally. And a lot of people, again, say that we are going down. Pepe is done. All in, I'm seeing is a nice potential bull flag for a breakout. Again, we saw this massive spike up in a week where we saw the whole meme coin space go absolutely insane. So it does still give us the absolute view. Again, this higher price level, the same as where we currently sit with Bitcoin at this higher price level on BTC. Again, you can see the halving there, this dotted line coming up very, very soon. So we're almost at all time highs from previous highs for Bitcoin, why would Pepe be any different? But I'm curious to get your thoughts. As always, don't forget, drop down in the comments. Are you bullish on Pepe or are you bearish on Pepe? Let me know. And as always, if you want and enjoyed this content, don't forget the like and subscribe button. It truly does help out the channel. Check out some of the links down there if you want to trade futures. Check out Margex and Mexi, both offering fantastic bonuses and futures for all of your trading needs. As ever, see you guys in the next one. Take care.